Professor Four Beer, and do you know why Six was afraid of Seven? Because Seven ate Nine. Yes, numbers can be scary things, especially when numbers are really big like this, and you have to solve a problem in your head very fast. Well, I'm about to tell you a very clever mathematical trick called rounding that makes numbers easy to deal with. Because I know this trick, numbers never scare me. In fact, I like working with all numbers big and small. And I'm going to share what I know about rounding with you. As I said before, I never repeat myself, so pay attention. Rounding is changing a number to make it easier to use even though it isn't as accurate. Let's start with this number, 346,497. You might want to change it to the nearest tens or hundreds or thousands or some other place value. To round a number, decide what place value you want to round to. Suppose you wanted to round it to the nearest thousands place. First, you must find which digit is in the thousands place. Remember place value. Here's the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, thousands place, there it is, the thousands place. We have a six in the thousands place. Go ahead and underline the place you are rounding to. This is the last digit you will keep. To avoid getting confused, look only at this digit and the number that follows it. Leave the digit the same if the numeral next to it is less than five. Increase this digit by one if the numeral next door is five or more. Increasing the number when you round is called rounding up, and decreasing the number is called rounding down. Here's a handy rhyme that can help you remember. If the digit next door is more than four, add one more. So if the number next door is zero, one, two, three, or four, round down. If the number next door is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, round up. Since the number next door is not more than four, it is four, keep six in the thousandth place. Now make all the numbers to the right of the six zeros. Your new number is 346,000. Now let's round 6,789,562 to the nearest 100,000. Which digit is in the 100,000th place? You've got it, the seven. Since seven is in the 100,000th place, Let's underline it and look at the number to the right of it. Here you have an 8. If the digit next door is more than 4, add one more. Since the digit is an 8, you will add one more to the 7 and make it an 8. This is called rounding up. Now change all the numbers to the right to 0. Your new number is 6,800,000. I asked myself, self, why do they call rounding rounding? I suppose it is because you can end up with a lot of zeros when you round. And zeros are, well, they are round. You end up with a nice round number with zeros. Let's round a decimal number. Suppose you want to round this number to the nearest thousandth. First, find the thousandths place. Here's the tenths place, the hundredths place, and yes, here's the thousandths place. The fours and the thousandths place. The digit to the right is a five. Remember, if that digit is more than 4, you round up. So the 4 becomes a 5. Rather than make all the digits to the right into 0, you just drop them since they are decimal numbers. There you have it, rounding, which makes numbers easier to use. That's all for now, see you a round. Until next time, be sure to learn new information daily.